So I want to share with you what I think is one of the most inspiring photos of this generation. On February the 6th, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket blasted into space. Eight minutes later, its two rocket boosters, controlled entirely by algorithms, descended at exactly the same point. And I thought this was amazing. And I, and I thought, you know, it's actually a poignant moment because while it's unfortunately it's possible for one person in this world to do a lot of bad, it's also possible for one person to do a lot of good. And that is a good reason to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> um, so I uh, grew up in the British countryside. I taught myself programming at a young age. And I dropped out of school when I was 17 and moved to London. And I realized that startups and entrepreneurships were my passion. So I decided I was going to move to San Francisco. Got on a flight, checked into a hostel, completely broke, started interviewing at a bunch of tech companies. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it's actually really hard to move to the US, especially without a degree. Um, and you wouldn't know that listening to Trump, but it's actually really tough. So I had a job, but I had no way of actually getting a visa. So I moved back to England and uh, licked my wounds and thought again. And so there's this visa in the US called, uh, called the O-1 visa. And the, the technical t term for this visa is alien of extraordinary ability. And uh, that's, that's actually what the Americans call it. And uh, now the great thing about this visa is there is uh, no educational requirements, which is fantastic. Um, and although I was an alien, unfortunately, I had done little in terms of anything extraordinary. Um, so I, I decided to set out and change that. Um, and I, th I was going to write a book on programming. So a year later, I had a publisher, I had a book, and I had my US visa. So I moved back to the States and, uh, and, and joined a tech company. And then um, three years ago, I started a company called Clearbit. Um, and essentially what we do is we're a data platform that uh, the companies can use to better understand their own customers. And uh, we, um, uh, we, we essentially build a building blocks that other companies can use to build upon. And we have uh, about 30 employees now. We're profitable. Um, and uh, we're growing. And uh, one of the things I'm most uh, excited about is our work-life balance. So about half of our company have families, and uh, about half of them work from home. We actually have one engineer who, um, prior to joining Clearbit, he uh, you know, never got to see his daughters. He had a two-hour commute to London every day. And now he works from home, sees his girls every day, and takes as much vacation as he needs. Um, and so my love affair with this country started uh, when I was in my 20s. I came around backpacking and hitchhiking around the country. And I realized I wanted to move here, but not just move here. I wanted to contribute back, contribute back in the way that I knew best, which was uh, creating uh, jobs. And so I wanted to come here, create tech jobs, hire Kiwis, um, and contribute back. But good intentions are not enough. You know, we tried that before, and we got possums. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the one thing I love about the EHF is that... Uh, you know, that not only do they introduce you to this cohort family um, and, you know, local connections, but they also introduce you to a Kiwi way of thinking. You know, they introduce you to local nuances, to Maori culture, um, and that's all really, really important if you're going to make the right kind of change. So thank you very much. Thank you.